Hey guys, welcome to my 30 minute dumbbell only workout. Uh, you can do this as a follow along and we're gonna cover the whole body. Uh, we're gonna start off with a brief warm up and then we'll go into the workout. Okay, we're gonna do some crisscross, opening the chest nice and wide, crossing across the front. Come onto all fours. I want you to reach under as far as you can. Turn up to the sky. You're gonna do that about six times. And then switch. Reach under, reach up. point position, you're going to kick your legs to straight, put your head between your arms and then back. You can keep a little bend in your legs if it means getting a better back position. We'll do six of these. And on this sixth one, hold that downward dog stretch. Give me some pumping heels, one at a time. And then come into a press up position. From here, we're gonna take one foot up, put it on the outside of the hand, and then we're gonna rotate each way once. And then you're gonna switch your legs over. You're gonna rotate, pointing up each way once. Switch. We're going to do that three times per side total. So got one more time on each side. Feet out and then inchworm back to your toes. Touch your toes and roll up. Okay, let's get your quads warmer. So we're gonna have quite a close foot squat. Just give me six to eight reps. And then we're gonna switch it. Six to eight reps. And then how fast you're going. You're going to step out again, turn your toes out. We're going to go for more of a hinge, six to eight sumo deadlifts. All right, and then finally, just to get a little bit of a stretch from the shoulders, I'm going to come and we're going to do six table tops. So you're going to drive up, feel the stretch on the shoulders, engage the glutes. So we're gonna do two main sections. We're gonna do four exercises per section, and you're gonna do three rounds of each. Uh, we're gonna do different reps for each one on the first section, and then when we go on to section B, you're gonna have the same amount of reps per exercise each time. Don't worry if you don't understand, you can just follow along with me. So let's get you ready to go. I'll give you a couple of rep demo before each exercise on the first round. So you're gonna be in a half kneeling position like this. I'm gonna do eight strict press. So you're gonna have them up like this. And you're gonna do a shoulder press. Okay, let's get ready to go. Three, two, one, and go. So I'm going eight reps of a half kneeling strict shoulder press. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, good. And then onto your feet. We're gonna do alternating reverse lunges like that. 
Okay, we're gonna do 10 per leg. Let's go three, two, one, and go. Alternating legs. I'm just gonna count every other leg. Two. Three. Four. Try and get as close to the floor as you can with that back knee. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, next up we've got a goblet squat. So you can take one dumbbell. You could also front rack two dumbbells if you want to make it harder. And we're going to do 12 squats. So it's going to look like that. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, let's go. I'm on nine. Bit of control on the way down. Knees out. All right. Okay, next up, you need a chair or a wall, or if you haven't got anything, you could rest one hand on your knee. We're gonna do a, a leaning dumbbell row up and back towards your hip. We're gonna do 14 per arm, so quite a big set, but this should be your strongest movement out of these. So slight bend in the knees, hips back, flat upper back. Use this for support. Let's go, three, two, one, and go. 14 per arm. Pull up and back towards your hip, not up in a straight line. All right, and then we're gonna switch sides. Up and back towards the hip. 14 on this arm as well. All right, take a little break. So hopefully the structure makes a bit more sense. We're going half kneeling strict press for eight. Then you're gonna add two reps. Alternating reverse lunge for 10 per leg. And we're gonna go goblet squat for 12. And then we're gonna go leaning row for 14 per arm. So let's get back ready for that half kneeling strict press. Doesn't matter which knee you wanna be on. You're gonna start handles roughly level with your ears or just below. Now let's go. One, slow on the way down. Two, three, don't rush them. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, good job. Got those reverse lunges. Quite a big set. Got 10 per leg. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, controlling that front knee, making sure it's not collapsing in, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. All right, sticking with the legs. So if you want to make it a bit harder, you could front rack both dumbbells. If not, take one single in the center. All right, let's go squats, 12 reps. Let's go. One, control the way down, knees out, two, Keep your heels on the floor. Three, four, and 
seven. That's 12. And we've got these leaning rows. So not pulling up to your chest, pulling back to your hip. 14 per arm, let's go. the other side nice flat back the end of round two. I'm going to take a quick breather before we go into the next one. So we're keeping the same reps, final time through, and then we're going to do a similar format. But we're going to change the exercises and change the reps a little bit as well. Okay, so we're back to that half kneeling strict press. Whichever knee you prefer, make sure you're not leaning back at all. Let's get you ready to go. Three, two, one, and go. Control the way down. All right, next up we've got uh, the alternating lunges. If you're struggling with the lunges, you could just do it without dumbbells and just do body weight. Then you go 10 per leg, let's go with that. But hold the dumbbells if you can. If not, you're doing without. Or if you want somewhere halfway between, you could just hold one of your dumbbells at your chest here. So you can scale the workout a little bit to what suits you. You could do the same with the squats. You could do body weight if you needed to, but hopefully you're strong enough to do one of your dumbbells. Right, that's seven per leg for me. We're going 10, eight, nine, and 10. Give you a couple of seconds to finish those lunges. All right, I'm gonna take one dumbbell this time, but you could front rack two, or body weight. Knees out, hips low. Let's go 12 squats. Roll the way down, squeeze up, try not to over lean forwards. It's four for me, it's 12 total. All right, and then we're on to these rows. Slightly higher rep range for this because you should be a little bit stronger than some of the other movements. 14 per arm whenever you're ready. Let's go. the end of your first section we're going to move on so we're going to do three rounds four different exercises 
This time though, we're gonna stick with 10 reps on every exercise. So you don't change the reps, you just stick with 10s all the way through. Um, I'll give you a quick demo to start each one off, but then you can go with me straight away. So the first one's gonna be a dumbbell Romanian deadlift. So you're gonna unlock your knees, hinge, feeling the hamstring stretch, minimal leg bend, and then hinge to the top. All right, let's go 10 reps. Get ready, three, two, one, and let's go. So nice and slow, squeeze through. Hinge, feel the stretch. Nice flat upper back. Three, four, five. Don't try and go too low. Six, just feel that hamstring stretch. Seven, imagine someone's pulling your hips backwards. Eight, dumbbells staying really close to your legs. Last one, feel that stretch. Squeeze through. All right, we're gonna go a negative skull crusher into a press. You might need slightly lighter dumbbells for this routine on this section, but you could do it with the same. So I'll give you a demo rep. We're gonna go slowly down, then drop the elbows to the sides and press back to the start position. We're gonna do that 10 times. Let's go, three, two, one, slowly down, elbows drop and press. One rep, we're gonna do 10. If you can't do this, just give me 10 close grip presses like that, I'll take that. But if you can do these slow negative to presses, that'd be great. 10 reps. one all right next up we've got one and a half bicep curls I'll give you a demo rep first so you have your palms to your sides you're gonna come up give it an extra half rep at the top and then down to your sides we're gonna go uh, ten reps including the extra halves in three two one let's go one two, three, four, five. If you run out of energy, you can just cut the halves out. Six, but if you can get through it, keep going. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that's pretty brutal. Uh, forearms will cover a little bit. All right, the last one in the four is gonna be a Turkish sit-up. So I'm gonna start with the most complicated one. The start of my left knee up, just watch the demo first. Left arm up, right leg down, right arm down. I'm just gonna sit up onto the elbow. I'm pushing through the elbow, reaching up to the sky. I'm gonna lie back down onto my back. All right, let's go 10 per side. Left arm up, left knee up. Right leg down, right arm down. Three, two, one. 10 reps. One, two. If you can't do it with the dumbbell, just get rid of the dumbbell. Three, you could still do it like this. Four, just keep that arm nice and vertical. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to switch arms and switch legs. So I've got my right knee up, my right arm up, left arm down, left leg down. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three. Four. Really push through that bottom elbow. Four. 
All right, good job. One round done, two to go. Just let your forearms shake off a little bit. We're gonna go back to those Romanian deadlifts. And we need to focus on the stretch, keeping a flat back on your feet. We'll go three, two, one, and hinge, and back up. We're going about three seconds down, or three counts, one, two, three, feeling the stretch, squeezing up, 10 rep total. Flat upper back. I've got one more rep. Feel the hamstrings. Squeeze through. 10 reps. Negative skull crusher through to a press. And if you can't do it, if it's just too heavy for what you've got, just do a close grip floor press like that would be fine. But we're gonna go for these negative skull crusher to press if possible. 10 reps in three, two, one, go, so slowly down, just above the ears, drop the elbows, press back to the start position. I've got a slight slope to start, drop, through, press. So I've got straight arms, but a slight slope, dumbbells drop, just above my ears. Got one more. Nice and slow on the way down. All right, this is the hardest one for me. One and a half curls. If you can't do the halves, just do 10 reps of a regular bicep curl. If you can, let's put those halves in. We go three, two, one, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we've got those Turkish sit ups. Remember, you can do this with or without a weight, depending on your difficulty level. I'm going to start in my left hand. Don't let that knee collapse in. Don't let that knee leg, that straight leg fly off the floor. We'll go three, two, one, 10 per side, one. Bit of control on the way down. Sides. So I've got my right leg up, right arm up. Really reach like trying to touch the sky. done. Okay, let's get you on your feet once you finish those Turkish sit-ups. We'll go three, two, one, ten reps, hinge, feel that stretch, squeeze through.
10. Negative skull crusher through to a press or a floor press if they're too heavy for the skull crushers. Let's get you ready to go. Three, two, start on a slight slope and go. And 10. We've got two exercises left to go. One and a half curls. We'll go three, two, one, and let's go. be the Turkish get up, the Turkish sit up actually. So lying on your back, left arm up, left knee up, right sides down, don't cave the knee, don't lift that leg, three, two, one and go. Sides. Ten on this side as well. completing my dumbbell workout i'd really appreciate it if you did like it to hit the like button also comment with the types of videos you'd like to see more of and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any content see you soon